Hi, my name is David McKern. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Infinitech. By now you've seen our product demonstration video and we'd like to thank the thousands of people who have viewed it. We've had over 19,000 viewings. We've received a lot of positive feedback, but also a lot of questions. So this video is going to address some of the questions we've received. So we're in a typical office environment. We have two people who are wanting to share information. They could use a normal flash drive, but they run the risk of having outdated versions if the other one has been empty. This doesn't happen with the IUM, because once the IUM is connected, it is always going back to the source to share the latest version of the document. In today's scenario, we have this laptop over here, which is paired with the IUM, and the user of this laptop is wanting to get access to some documents and also send some documents the other way. So what we're going to do now is show how to configure the IUM and then how to share the files back and forth. We're on the laptop, which has been paired with the IUM. The first thing we're going to do is define the reported device size. This is done by selecting the Preferences tab. The IUM can be any size you like, however that size must be supported by your client device. To simplify this process, we've created a drop-down list of configurations for various devices and settings, or you can customize your own values. You can select which file system you would like, whether that be FAT32 or NTFS, and enter the device size. Today we're going to create the world's first 1.5 terabyte flash drive. The IOM itself is a read-only device, however we have created one folder which enables write access. This is called Upload. Today we're going to define the Upload folder to be 2 gigabyte, and we're going to specify where on the local hard disk this information will be stored. We're creating a folder called Upload. Once the configuration is complete, you select the Save button. So we've saved our configuration and we're ready to start sharing some documents. We do this by going to the Folder Browser tab. Just going to move this over the side while we bring the folders in. We have a directory called Documents with many subfolders and files that we would like to share with the other person. We do this simply by just dragging and dropping to Infinite Portal and selecting OK. We also now have all of our subdirectories and folders shared. So we've shared the files we want the other person to get access to. All we need to do now is give them the IUM and they plug it into their laptop like any other USB device. So we now have the world's first 1.5 terabyte flash drive. And as you can see, we open and use it like any other flash drive. We have our documents folder, we have our upload folder. Our Documents folder contains all the subdirectors we were sharing, and we can also open the files that we've been sharing. The user of this laptop would like to send a file to the other person. This can be done easily by using the Upload folder. Just go to the root directory of the IUM and select the Upload folder. Today we're going to be sharing some documents from the My Documents folder and it's just as simple as drag and drop over to Upload. This will then copy the file to the IUM and is now available on the other person's laptop. So that's it for our demonstration of how to configure the IUM and share content from PC to PC. If you'd like any more information about the IUM, please go to our website at www.infinitech.com.